Leon's Griffin here reporting for Fresh Express TV, and I am blessed to be joined by Sean Fleming Jr., the regional director of the California Young Gems Black Caucus. I had to say that a hundred times. We finally got it right here. So thanks for joining us, brother. Appreciate it on Fresh Express TV. So before we begin, uh, Sean's actually gonna join me today as the guest host, and we're gonna go over some of the hot topics you can see on the freshexpress.com. But before we begin, I want you to tell the folks here what you do. Explain what the California Young Dems Black Caucus does. So basically, the California Young Democratic um, Club is basically a, the youth arm of the California Democratic Party. And so we're the Black Caucus that was founded April 2010, this year, and basically uh, we've grown to 50, uh, past 50 in our numbers, um, and we also are reaching networks of 150,000 individuals nationwide. So basically the mission is we're striving to build a new generation of progressive black leadership within the California Democratic Party. We're endeavoring to mobilize, um, educate, and to register uh, black youth um, surrounding black Democratic candidates. We want to have conversations with black youth to, to get their issues at the forefront of the um, California Democratic uh, platform. So our first topic, you're involved with, obviously you're on the political side of things. What is your, how would you grade President Obama, his performance so far, whether it's on the issue of illegal immigration or uh, ending uh, the war on Iraq? Uh, any of the issues, or even healthcare legislation, how would you describe his performance so far? Holistically, I think he's done a great job. Um, I think um, at the top of the year with the State of the Union, um, he, he, give, he gave a great outline of a proposal to Congress and um, a vision for uniting our country. And with that, um, he has seen the passage of health care reform, he's seen financial regulation reform, and we've seen now with the recent drawdown of the troops in Iraq. And the only thing that um, has, standing, has stood in his way is the Republican Party, um, the members of Congress. Um, they're basically, you know, obstructing uh, legislation that deals with um, tax relief for small business, um, increasing jobs, um, sending more money to public education. So, I mean, and, and that kind of brings up a good point. I mean, for even for those of you that you may not keep up with politics, I think everyone can see, though, that the Democrats and the Republicans, there's always this gridlock. They're, they're always having these problems. Why do you think that's happening right now? Why are the Republicans, and this is what, what you're saying, why do you think that the Republicans are always uh, disagreeing with most of the policies that are being put forth by the Obama administration? Well, I think uh, the Republicans, they, uh, they don't want to participate in bipartisan po po uh, politics. They want to hang on to their, their ideals because they think they work. And um, I'm under the impression that they don't work because we've seen eight years of that under Bush. And so obviously that doesn't work, but they want to hang on to their ideals and they don't want to compromise. And uh, uh, to be honest, uh, I don't think they want to help America. President Obama, we're sure he, he will play a big role in what happens this coming November. Yeah, the midterm elections coming up. Um, What's at stake here? Well, it seems like <laughs> uh, Republicans say the tide is coming for, for Democrats, um, saying they'll be washed out of office. But um, if Democrats are voted out of office, then you'll have Republicans taking over leadership, and then you'll have a rollback of the issues, um, and, and it'll go back to <laughs> what Bush wanted to, uh, Bush's agenda. And so that's not where we want to go, because then you know, you'll know you repeal you know, health health care okay. re regulation, um, you'll repeal financial regulation, um, you'll repeal all these things that will help our country and um, these things are going to take time and that's what uh, these re Republicans don't understand. Alright, so our next hot topic has to do with uh, the mosque that's being built near Ground Zero. Um, the Muslim community has been the subject of a lot of discrimination from different groups. Um, how would you say uh, leaders in the black community are, are handling this issue? As far as the mosque being built at Ground Zero, uh, I believe it's not a black or white issue. Um, I believe it's an American issue. And, but I believe that black leaders, um, including President Obama, have done a, a good job at uh, clearly stating that we must move forward. All right, so we're gonna close things out here on the Fresh Express TV. Um, first, I wanna congratulate you for uh, graduating from UC Berkeley. Thanks. And, um, what did you graduate in? What was your major? Spring 2010, legal studies. Legal studies, okay. And I'm actually a graduate of the University of Southern California. I just finished up this past year. And um, I don't know if you've been keeping track, but Cal football has had a problem with USC this year. Not this year, I mean the previous years in a row. So I just want to know, 
is this the year that the Cow Bears take down the Trojans, or will the Trojans tie it on for one more time? This is definitely the year. I mean, uh, admit the controversy and the scandal with USC. Oh! They've been exposed as cheaters, and so now is oh. the year for us to reclaim our rifle throne in the Pac-10. And so you will see us beat USC this year. See how, got per see how he got personal? That just hurt. That hurt. Mr. Fleming, pleasure having you here as a guest host on Fresh Express TV. You're always welcome. You're always oh. welcome to, you know, Top Shop with us. We're always talking about the fresh perspectives and all that. And then um, how can we uh, check out more information on the California Young Dems Black Caucus? So we have a website coming on the way, but for now you can find us on Twitter at CYD Black Caucus, and you can find us on Facebook. We have a fan page as well as a group, and that is um, under CYD Black Caucus as well. CYD Black Caucus, we check it out. So thank you all for checking us out on Fresh Express TV, and if you want more fresh perspectives, check us out at thefreshexpress.com. We're gonna go grab something to eat. I, I owe him some food. I had him waiting for a long time. All right, John. All right.